Hi, like the title says, I finally tried making boba tea at home using a store-bought package. We got this from Costco almost a year ago. My little sister asked for it, but when she made it on her own, she didn't like it. So it's just been sitting there. Today, I finally decided to try it. First thing I did was read some reviews online to see what other people had to say about it. I heard some, oh, too sweet, so I added more water or milk. Or, if you're expecting authentic boba tea, you're going to be disappointed. But it's as good as powdered tea can be. I've never had powdered tea, so I don't know if it's good or bad. Long story short, the authentic boba tea that you'll get from your boba spots triumphs over this. But, it, but this will suffice too. It's not horrible. Will that buy it again? No. So I'm supposed to do two fl fluid ounces of water. Boiling water, which is equal to about a quarter cup. So I'm just going to get some. I have a measure cup right there, but it's up for the half cup. And I like to bake a lot, so trust me, I got this. I'm going to do about a quarter cup now. Um, let me think. This is, this is it. I'm going to do this flavor. It's creme brulee. Well, I just threw it in instructions. I'm just going to find that. And then we'll see what mix. Okay, I'm gonna see what's next. I have in my water. Okay. I done the powder. I just have to add a bunch of ice and then some milk. And then mix. I also have to make the boba. I didn't even make the boba yet. I'm gonna do the brown sugar boba. So I have two options. I can microwave it or I can boil it. But I feel like boiling it will make it taste better, so I'm gonna boil it. I'm being lazy, so I just dropped like, the entire packet in the kettle, which I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to do, but like, you know, if it works, if it works, it works. It's so it's chilling there. I'm supposed to leave it in there um, for three minutes. So when it's 10.08-ish, I'll grab it. And then I'm supposed to leave the fire on for, you know, the continued boil. So I'm just going to open it so it's not, you know, making that loud noise. Anyways, I think what I need to do next. The instructions are on the bottom. So I'm supposed to put in 7 ounces of ice, however I have ice in here right, I got it from Sarah a couple of days ago and it's all fused together, like it melted and it fused together and it done froze. Like, I kind of plan on maybe microwaving it a little and then stabbing if I can at least get some ice out. I know I could have done that in terms of lighting, production, that type of stuff for this video. It's not great but it's also not bad, it's like decent it's really giving homemade but in my defense my house was built in the year 1900 and it was renovated in 1930 so were you people thinking about like phones and having that good lighting and all that no they weren't but i'm just gonna use a spoon because i'm not gonna burn myself on the sides we got it overall the boba tea was a 6.8 out of 10 the actual boba pros are great though in the future what i do is make my own tea but use their boba when I was making it, I added more milk than the instructions stated. I got a tweak and adjust your taste, you know what I'm saying? It was initially too sweet and concentrated. But we also have to consider that I didn't actually measure everything. I just sort of eyeballed it. This has been a learning experience. It gave me confidence to buy boba pearls but make the tea on my own for the future. As you know, boba tea can be expensive. And if I can replicate it at home and have it turn out well, I'll be saving money. I didn't record this, but I actually tried making my own tea using black tea. It was alright, I could have done better, but my little sister loved it, it earned her seal of approval. But one day, trust, I will make my own boba tea at home and it will be bomb. But that's all for today's video, so drop a like.